Good morning. Today is fabulous Friday. We're not usually here on Friday, but this was a weird, weird week. Um, it was Labor Day, and so I wasn't here. And you want to go ahead and tell people I hadn't been here all week because I ain't quite been with it. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry, but I can't breathe. I can't hear. I can't think. You want to throw anything else into it? I'll, I'll just... Uh... Refrain. Can you think of anything else? Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's got a list. <laughs> He's got a list. Well, we're smiling and we're happy and life is good, but not especially for our ETC family. And um, Dwight, I, I blows my mind. You have known sw sweet, sweet Danny Hensley since he was a little boy and a rode your school little bus. Little bitty boy riding my bus. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So sad. And, and you used to aggravate him a little bit. Yeah, well, I did. Yeah. <laughs> you did. And uh, he he and his sister rode the bus, is that yeah, right? Yeah, little Debbie. Yeah. And um, sadly, or um, we all are living for that moment we go to be with Jesus. Danny lost his battle with cancer and has gone to be with Jesus. And uh, it's it's very different for me. I would not be back here had it not been for Danny Hensley and Ed Singleton, and I can just say I'm immensely grateful to both of them, and um, Danny has gone to be with the Lord, and uh, a lot of great memories. ETC would never have done the things we did here in the studio without his direction. He was a force to be reckoned with. He, he went to the ball games. He went here. He went. He did everything. He just threw it together and did it, and I don't think he had ever been involved in anything like this when they did the um, when they opened the studio. You know, it was all new for him. So, I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Something new, and uh, in memory of Danny Hensley today, we want to share. I talked to Matt Dobler this morning, and I told Matt, I said, "Would you please, would you mind if we do Resurrection Ground today in honor of Danny?" And and Matt is just a little bit older than Danny, and he said, "Gosh, it just it doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem real, and it doesn't." But when we look back, um, you know, the time is flying. He was 53 years old. He is married to his beautiful bride, Dawn. Um, they have a wonderful family, new grandbabies, and, and life was good. And um, it will, we got to pray for Dawn and please support her. Matt is going into a revival in Florida, and he said, I will tell everybody to please pray for the family because Danny's okay now, but the family's the one that suffers. You know, know. the day we lay our loved ones to rest, it's not them that's suffering, it's us. So, so we're going to do Resurrection Ground right now in honor of Danny Hensley and in memory of Danny Hensley, and please keep Don and the family in your prayers. I have my prayers. little story I'll stick in real quick. Absolutely. When he rode the bus, he was a little bitty. He, it was something like... It was 77, probably, 1977. And he'd stand up, he'd get up real early, and he'd hold on to that bar. It used to be in them old buses, and he'd look out like he was scared I was going to miss his stop. <laughs> and little Debbie would be with him, and I'd say, now, which which road is it? And boy, he'd tell me. He'd be, right, right up here, right up here. <laughs> and I'd say, oh, this one? Yeah, 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 right here. <laughs> How sweet. Yeah, I know. How sweet. It? It's so strange when some, uh, when these people that rode the bus are, are going on before me. Right, right. It is it's, strange. Uh, yeah. It's strange, but yeah. good, good memories. Good memories. And we know this is in God's timing, and there is nothing that we can change about it. It is God's perfect plan. So now I want you to listen to a song. Uh, the Inspirations did this many, many years ago. Matt Dobler's brother, Mark, wrote this song. Y'all have heard it a million times because I've played it about that many he wrote it three hours after burying his three-year-old little girl who died of a brain tumor. He walked from the cemetery to his home and he wrote this song. So I want you to sit back and listen to Resurrection Ground because if you're facing the loss of a loved one, it is truly just Resurrection Ground and uh, we will see them again. Here we go. This is not the end, it's resurrection ground. We gather together to say our goodbyes to our precious loved one. Oh, how our hearts ached inside. Then we went to the place 
where they lowered their body down. Some call it a grave, I call it resurrection ground. Resurrection ground, no more graves alive. We'll meet them in the air. It's resurrection ground. Jesus said, because I live, ye shall live also. What a promise. We come here often where our loved ones lay. It seems like yesterday we join hands to pray. How sweet it would be if we were standing right when this cold grave it turns to resurrection ground resurrection ground no more graves alive we'll meet them in the air no more party there with jesus we'll be for all eternity this is not the end it's resurrection ground, resurrection ground, no more graves allowed, we'll meet them in the air, no more party there, with Jesus we'll be for all eternity, this is not the end, it's resurrection ground. This is not the end, it's resurrection ground. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? The American Made Music Festival returns to Hiawassee, Georgia, September 15th through 17th. This three-day festival features the best of country, bluegrass, and gospel music, including special guests Craig Morgan, Lone Star, Ricky Skaggs, and Kentucky Thunder, Daly and Vincent. Stars and stripes forever, America. Three-day and single-day tickets available, along with on-site camping by the lake. The American Made Music Festivals with Daly and Vincent, presented by Gus Arendale and Springer Mountain Farms. United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. 
Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. We are back. Fabulous Friday. Fabulous Friday because the temperatures are lower. Everything feels like fall is in the air. I love it. Tell me the song that you wrote that has a line about Ella J and Fort Mountain and yada yada. Tell me, what song was it? A Christmas song? I think so. Yeah, I might have wrote a Christmas song that had that in it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I actually, I know I didn't write that. You didn't? <laughs> no, but I changed the line in it, yeah. Okay. And on beautiful Fort Mountain, no, from beautiful Fort Mountain, Merry Christmas. Oh, it was, a, it was Alabama yeah, it was actually Randy did the song. Randy Owens wouldn't appreciate none of this, <laughs> probably. Oh. <laughs> but living on Highway 52 near Fort Mountain, right now, you are ready to tell people, come on to the mountains, come on and get to know Ella J. Welcome to Ella J. Welcome to Ella J. Yes, welcome to Ella J. Uh, I walk a lot, uh, as you know. And yesterday, I, I walk on Fort Mountain, and so I was up there getting ready to do my walk. No, I'd just done my walk. And, and here uh, comes a bear. I saw a big old bear, and uh, Got a nice picture of it, too. I didn't get too close, though. So. No, And no. Uh, Yeah, there's lots of stuff to see up there. There's just, that lake is beautiful. I love to walk up there. And does it cost people any money to go there? Usually not. Sometimes there's somebody sitting in that little booth out there and you give them some parking money, but we don't care. It's for a good cause. Yeah. And uh, the, uh, the mountain is beautiful. The, the lake is just gorgeous. And if you walk around that lake three times, pretty fast, you've done something. <laughs> uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, does it have a walking path or might you encounter a snake on that path? I saw a snake. I took a picture of that snake. Uh -oh. Didn't know what it was. I know a little bit about snakes, but not this one. It was solid gold. Gold? Yeah, it was a real snake too. Wow. And I don't know what he was. <laughs> that's I strange. didn't bother him. I just went on. And he didn't bother you? No, he didn't bother no, me too. that's good. That's good. Okay, living in the country, living in the mountains, you like canning, you like gardens, you like homemade stuff, and you like lard in your biscuits. Yes. And you like, you like um, looking back. And so today we're going to look back because we actually, you told the story about the table that your mom and dad went and bought when y'all lived in Latham Town or Free Home. Yeah. And we're going to show that table now because he didn't know it, but I snuck out there this morning and took a picture. You were already gone, I guess, or didn't know I was Probably, there. Probably, yeah. You and said be here at 10, and so I came at 10. He was on time, and I was late. <laughs> so anyway, does that surprise anybody? <laughs> but I was, I was up at 6.30 moving stuff for a photo shoot. So, so I've done my duty. I've done my part. But I want you all to see these photos because all of us are the generation, my generation, your generation, we are the canning, the growing, the picking, the sharing. You love those old horse apples. 
that you've been sitting oh, on the porch eating. I've been eating. eating them, yes. yes. I love horse apples. And, and several elderly ladies tell me that they make amazing apple butter. So if you have a horse apple tree, gather those apples. Why didn't you let me stop and ask them people in Morganton if we could have those apples? You know, I didn't the tree even know what full. they were exactly at the time. But I that, like sugar apples too. Old sugar apples used to be around the house. I've never seen. I didn't those. know what them were in Mor in Morganton exactly at the time. Well, they're horse I just, apples. I just knew I'd seen them around a lot. Did we tell the story about my cell phone? And what a I great driver know. you are. I think you did, but yeah. we could tell it again. Yeah, because um, if I'd have been driving this morning on 52. I'd have got me a ticket because I was running radar. <laughs> you wouldn't have got a ticket because no, you don't, don't speed. speed. I don't speed. My if the phone, speed limit says 65, if you'll go 60, you'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> warning, yeah. warning, uh -huh, radar. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I look down and I'm going a little bit too fast and I'm trying to do better because I don't need any tickets. You know, if you get tickets and you're old, then they penalize you. Yeah. If you get tickets and you're young, then they penalize you. Yeah. That's that middle part that they don't bother you too bad on the insurance. But another if you're thing old, about Yeah, another thing about not speeding is when uh, you have to hit something. Mm -hmm. It feels so much better at a lower rate of speed. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and I almost had to hit something the other evening, too. You remember that? Yes, oh, gosh. he scared the pejeezies Some out of me. Some guy turned in front of me, and it was close. Thought the man was gone to be with the Lord. Holy it was mackerel. a scary, scary day. I okay, Donald, can we pull up those pictures now? It. And we'll, <coughs> we're going to show y'all. You told on a previous show about you and your mom digging up. Was it a lamp in a dump? Yeah. And Way back in 64. See, I want you to see this lamp that I have, that I actually, I have two of them. One came out of a house that um, the people moved off and left it. Is that, is yours that's like that? That's pretty somewhat, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And that's my Martha and George Washington lamp, and uh, I got it for 10 bucks at an antique store. Yeah. And it's, and then the next one is a trunk that I refinished this year because it was inherited by um, a family member that um, had gone on to be with the Lord. It was in, I guess, originally in Calvin Farmer's house. And I redid that. And it's really, really cool because it's a lot of storage, holds a lot of stuff, and uses it as a table. So isn't that cool? Very nice. I love stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And then this is your mama's table and my iron skillet, my Kenny thing. And you that see that is, John Deere tractor? I do see that. But you know what I did next yeah. is I covered up the John Deere tractor because you no longer like them. You like that other brand better. <clears throat> so what is that other brand? Branson. Branson. I never heard tell of it. Yeah. Now this is the table, y'all. This is a retro table from the 50s. I believe it was in no, the 1960s. 60s. Was it new when they bought it? Yeah, we oh, bought it really? new, brand oh, new wow. in 1964. Okay, okay. May have I... been a little behind times or something, I don't know. Yeah, I thought these came out in the 50s, but isn't that a cool, cool table? And do you see two things sitting on there next to that rolling pin? Would you like to know what they are? I would like to know what that They're is. They're rutabagas. Rutabagas? <laughs> yeah. You're going to peel them today. Yes. We're doing that cooking show thing You're going to cook them. Yeah. You're going to cook Me, them. Me, I'm going to cook them. You're going to cook them. Yeah, you may cook regret them. that. Uh-huh, uh -huh, yeah. How about you cooking them because I'd yeah. really like to eat them later? Okay, <laughs> I can do that. I can do that. Now, this is this morning. I was on this property right here, and we're going to show you all this in a minute. I was on that property, and that barbed wire came off this property. We are doing the most amazing development in Ball Ground, and that, that wire... That barbed wire was put there in the early, early 1900s. And um, I went up there and clipped it, and I, my intention was to make something for a family member, but I just like the way it looks on the cabinet. Isn't sure. that cool? Yeah, it's cool. And it's old barbed wire. I and got some of that in 57 Heaven that came from the camp. Yep, there I you wondered go. if Henry yep. Sanford may and have put this it is, up. This is the property that we're developing in Ball Ground, and uh, we're going to build approximately 60 beautiful, beautiful homes, and some of them are going to have a mountain ridge view, some of them are going to have a creek view. That's where I started my day this morning, and we are going to be sharing. This is Calvin Farmer Park, and uh, it's Farmer's Crossing, and it's going to be really, really cool. And that's where that old barbed wire came from. So thank you, Aaron. 
We are, um, this is walking distance to downtown ball ground. It is going to be a, a community where everybody can walk to the restaurants, they can walk to the stores, they can walk to the park with their children. And it really has been there being developed by the farmer family since the 1800s. And when I got that barbed wire, <sighs> me and poison oak don't get along too good and I waited till the poison oak died down and I got the barbed wire but it's been there forever and those are just special things now do you recognize that you know what those are? Is it turnip greens? It, it's collard greens. Collard greens? It's collard greens. Them are better. It's collard greens. I'm cooking up a bunch of collard greens to put in the freezer because there's something about the winter coming. You need your vitamins, you need your vegetables. And if you cook it up now while they're in season and then you have it and it's really, really cool. So get you a big old pot and just stuff it full of greens and then put them in little containers, freeze them and you have food. Now, the story with that meat is I cook a big ham and then I take the bone and the meat that's left on it and I wrap it in double, double, double bags and put it up and put it in the freezer. And then when, when the fall temperatures hit, I have to drag that sucker out and I have to use it to make soup beans and to make collard greens. That's just a, that's a tradition with me, has been forever and ever. There's something about cooking with the good, cool stuff and that's what I love. Now this piece, we dug up in a dump site on a piece of property I bought, about 11 acres in an old house. And that piece of pottery is orange Georgia pottery. Very, very rare from the 1800s. Nice. And we dug that up in a site and then my friend Ralph Cantrell made me <clears throat> an arrangement in it. I have had that for over 32 years. And we literally on a Sunday afternoon, JS and I were out there digging at this dump site and our dispatcher called and said, what are y'all doing? I said, we're digging in a dump site. And he said, you're doing what? And I said, yeah. And that's the result of it. And I was so ecstatic because it's a beautiful piece of pottery. So we're also going to show this photo of my great, great grandmother. Because on your mama's table sat my great, great grandmother's salt and pepper shakers. I put them there to just show the generations and how we do things. Now that's my precious granddaddy and that's precious me. You can go ahead and say wasn't I cute? Wasn't I a cute little girl? You were. I was a cute little girl. I had lots of curly hair. Yeah. And my granddaddy was my buddy. He came down with multiple sclerosis when he was 36 years old. Oh no. He was bedridden until he was 63 when he died mm. a frail 68 pound man. He used to be, he made moonshine and he became a deputy sheriff and he was a wonderful, wonderful man, but at 36 years old, he was stricken with MS and... Um, There's something I don't understand about this moonshine. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they will arrest you and put you in jail if you make moonshine. Right. But who loves moonshine and who buys moonshine? Who does? Judges. <laughs> That. I just happen to know a few things. <laughs> it's judges, it's DAs, it's police chiefs and sheriffs. They love moonshine and they mm -hmm. have it often. Yes. Wow, I didn't yes. know that. Yes. yes. That is so cool. Dolphin <laughs> <So cool. laughs> said snitch. I know. <laughs> that was funny. I don't know how many moonshiners I've heard saying, yeah, I took a load down to Atlanta. Some judge was wanting it. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's the way the world runs, though. It's just exactly well, the way Well, and runs. they give it as gifts because I'll tell you, and this, everybody knew Howard Bradley always had moonshine around. And sure. And we yeah. had a gallon that sat in our bedroom for over 25 years, and I never opened it, but I can only imagine it sat there 25 I went, years. I went to a cruise in, took my 57 uh, candy, that is, up to a cruise in, in in Dillard, Georgia, not too long ago. And I was up there, they was having all this stuff, really good cruise into, good people, good to us, gave us free food. And I won a jar of, uh, of peach brandy. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, and I've never touched it. But, uh, and I didn't touch it, but uh, I gave it to a friend, but uh, yeah. Did those, they touch it? They touched it. <laughs> yeah, maybe they did. Yeah, they touched <laughs> it a lot. They did. Tasted and touched. Yep. Yeah. 
Well, you have agreed to do a song for me as a favor, and I lied to you and told you we were going to do a break that you could get your guitar. Yeah, so now i got to scramble over there and get my guitar, right? We'll do one commercial break, and when we come back, y'all okay. are going to get And this okay. is dedicated to Joyce Wilkie and to Madeline Zimmerman. Yes. Uh, I gave out my phone number yesterday on the, on the air, and I don't care. You can call me. You can text <laughs> me. I don't care. It's... 706-889-3116. And if he doesn't answer, it's because he's busy, busy, busy. So leave a message or text. I'll get back with you. Yes, and, uh, yes. and it's such him. a joy talking to this Madeline Zimmerman up yep. in, up in uh, Mineral Bluff. Mineral Bluff. Yep. Yep. What a lady. What a lady. Sweet, sweet lady. Had the very kind words for us. And I got a lot of texts, too. You may be mad at me about one thing. Why? Two texts came in at exactly the same moment with the correct answer to the trivia question uh -oh. yesterday. Yeah. So you give two During shirts. the same moment, minute. So you give two shirts. Yeah, I gave that's them cool. both a t-shirt. Of course. Am I fired? Or? No, that's okay. fine. All that's right. fine. Still not Slaves fired. Slaves cannot be fired. I woke They're up sold. not fired again today. <laughs> no, you are... Um, I'm very thankful because everybody says you bring a breath of fresh air, you are, and you literally, this week, <laughs> I hadn't been here, I don't know what I was doing, because... <laughs> Seriously, folks, thank you for all the, the kind, sweet, sweet, sweet texts sweet. and the phone calls. It's, yeah. it, makes, it makes it feel like you're doing something right. Thank yep, you. Yep, yep, it is, it is really, really sweet. So we're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, House of Gold, Hank Sr.? Yes. Uh, Aaron, would you be a real doll and hand me this guitar? Right over here, the one right behind me. With this mic gear, I'm going to yeah. drag it all over okay, the place. Okay, we're going to commercial. We'll be right back. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi, not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more.
fall down upon your knees and pray. Good job. Old Hank. Now tell me about this guitar. This guitar has a very long story behind it. And? It's really not even mine, to be honest with you. It's on a loan? Uh, an old guy pawned it years ago, and he went, I don't know what happened to him, I'm afraid he has passed away. But I brought it home, and uh, if any of his family or anything ever was to come, or if I see him again or whatever, his guitar is available. How sweet, <laughs> how sweet. Now tell he me. Was, uh, <coughs> he, he was physically handicapped, and uh, he could barely walk. And uh, I wasn't going to charge him any interest. I never did in those cases. And uh, but I don't know where he's gone to. So wow. Wow. His guitar is here. If I see anybody, his family or whatever. That's the kind of man you are. I've, I've, well, I now, watch you, and I'm like, okay, all right. You are very unique, to say the least. Can we say it might be from your raising, from old times? and old values? Could be, it could be. Uh, I was brought up right. We wasn't rich, but we had love. Mm -hmm. So important, so yes, important. Yes. Now tell me about the guitar behind you. Have I seen that one before? I don't, I don't know, I doubt it. Uh, I pulled it out of the vault this morning. It's a beauty, that thing's a beauty. It's a... Uh, Is that wood? Yeah, absolutely. Because I can see the grain, but that color. It's made by custom. And it's early 60s, and it's uh, it was actually played by a lot of the old guys back then, the Dave Clark Five mm -hmm, and all these people. Mm -hmm. And the Dave Clark Five, ladies and gentlemen, was a good band. They influenced the fabulous Beatles. Okay, wait a minute, a song by the Dave Clark Five. Okay, wait a minute, it's in my head. Give me one kiss, yes, and yes, I'll be yes, happy. Yes. <laughs> Just, just to be with you. That is so cool. I hadn't thought of them forever. <laughs> Are they still around? No, they're dead or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, they can't play them, can they? No. But so, the, this has the D. Armand pickups, and it's very similar to John Lennon's Rickenbacker. Oh, wow. wow. <coughs> when do you use that? Just if I, it's, it's got a unique sound, and, and every now and then, I've used it recording before. It's Are we guitar. allowed to talk about an event that's coming up November 19th? Sure. Can we say a little bit about that? Yeah, ticket you want me to tell about it? Yes, yeah. absolutely. I don't even know how much tickets are, but... Don't matter, it'll be worth In it. the George Link Theater mm -hmm. in Ella J, mm -hmm. I'm doing a show, I'm pretty much running a show for uh, a good guy. His name is Marlon Brackett. Marlon writes the best songs. It's his show. I'm going to play bass for him and sing some harmony. And again, I'm, I'm doing the stage and, and doing the sound and everything. And he's, he's a very good artist. He's got a good CD out, Marlon Brackett. What a guy, he's a good guy. And he can sing and write songs. You don't want to miss this one. Plus November you get to 19th. see me play bass guitar. <laughs> November the 19th, <clears throat> one show only? Yes, uh, I think it's about seven till nine, something like that. There on Dalton Street in the theater. Mm -hmm. You'll love Marlon. He's he's really good. I'm just uh, really putting this whole thing on for him. That's and, cool. And uh, he, you'll love him. He's gonna do all the singing. I'll do backup singing and play bass. And uh, he'll, uh, you'll be very very uh, well pleased with Marlon. He's cool. good. But for people who have who loved you before <coughs> and love you more now that they get to see you on television, I'm going to throw something at you. Had you ever been on live TV before I called you? I don't think so. Okay. You are just a complete natural. I'm camera lady. friendly, though. Yeah, you're a complete natural, and that's what's yeah. so weird to me. We talked <coughs> a couple of years ago, and then COVID hit, and you didn't get to be here. And then uh, you just walked in and, and took over the studio, kind of like it was designed for you to just come in with ideas and you have some good ideas. And well, I uh, listen to your ideas. You do. And, I do. And I appreciate that. Yep, I Marlon do. has a song called Bosom of Abraham. I love that song. You're going to love it, too. It's really good. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's good. Now, what You're going to like Marlon Brackett. What kind of music does he do? 
Just country. Okay. Yes, yeah, okay. just good country. How did I not know about him? I don't know. He's I he's know. around here. He he's a, he's actually a builder. Uh huh. And, cool. Uh, and, That's uh, gonna be fun. He's real good. He's about my age, and uh, he has an old car. He has a '54 Ford Crestliner. But Is that Crestliner or Crestline? Yes. No. <laughs> Some of these Ford guys, you gotta watch what you talk about around. Oh, now. but let me tell you, the day that I, I got relatives up on Lucille <laughs> Avenue, they're gonna disown me because I bought a Chevrolet. The day that I sat <clears> down <throat> in your car and the first thing out of my mouth was it doesn't have a 396. Yeah. Now you got two 396s. Two 396s now. <laughs> By the way, let's give an update. I love the influence. All that we was talking uh, about the 325 horse, uh, that's 396. We're going 375. Huh? Went out and found a four bolt main 375 horse block and heads, and now we're going 375 horse in yeah. that silver Chevrolet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like what you had when you were a kid. That's going to yep. be too cool. Now, how yep. old were you when you had that? 20. One? 20. He yes, was a kid. that was 1930, yeah. I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, back when you were a child. <laughs> That's going to yeah. be fun. I'm starting to wake up a little. When, we, when yeah. we look at old times and old things, you know, do you ever think that I grew up in the city? Because I grew up in the city. A feller wouldn't know. I was a city slicker. Well, it don't seem like it. I know. Yeah. I adjusted All the country. I adjusted the country. Cornbread way. fed, collard <laughs> yeah. greens and stuff yeah, you yeah. do. Yeah, but you know what? You know who influenced me? And I told you this the other day. The women in my life who got me in a kitchen and said, Sugar, let me show you this. Sugar, mm -hmm. let me show you this. Yeah, if you had the right parents, they could influence. Absolutely. Yeah. My daddy could cure ADD right on the spot. <laughs> yeah, with a whooping. Cure it. <laughs> there wouldn't be no more of that. <laughs> with a whooping. It'd be done forever. <laughs> I love it. Okay, well, when you look at the old times as you grew up, um, I was thinking about this early this morning in 1978 when J.S. and I got married, his parents did not have indoor plumbing. In 1978, did y'all have you're indoor not, you're plumbing? Not, surely you're not going to tell the log story. <laughs> I'm not going to tell it. Don't tell the log story. I'm not going to tell it, no. but it's the truth. <laughs> Believe me, folks, <clears throat> you don't want to hear the log story. It's the truth. You're not going to tell it, are you? No. Okay. No, but okay. When, but okay. when we got married, I insisted that we build his parents a bathroom on the back porch, an enclosed part of the back porch. Well, Papa never liked it. He did not want any foolishness of that in the house. <laughs> And I'm like, are you kidding me? I remember the very day. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's crazy. My grandpa did not believe you ought to be carrying on any such a way as that <laughs> yeah, yeah. in the house. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Need to go down to the toilet. But in 78. Ain't that funny? Is that not funny? <laughs> it's crazy. Did y'all have indoor plumbing in 78? Yeah. See? No, let's see. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. They yeah, went yeah. to the well. I'm serious. When yeah. I married into the Martin family, and I thank God every day I married into that family, they, we, they, you talk about well water. Oh, my gosh, the yeah. best well water in the world. Yeah. <clears throat> but you went out there and you drew a bucket of water. Sure. Yeah. And they had the bucket sitting by the sink and the dipper. Yeah. Now, imagine today with COVID. You hang your dipper in the kitchen, and everybody that gets thirsty goes and gets them a drink. Uh-huh. That ain't happening. I know. That ain't I remember that. I forgot about that. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah that's the dipper it. hung there by the thing. Yes. Oh, and my grandma and grandpa had gravity water. What does that mean? It just ran all the time. It just ran. It, really? it ran down from gravity from the, the reservoir they had up on the side of the hill. And the water ran all the time. Wow. Yeah. And you go in, get the dipper. Everybody drank out of the dipper, hang it back hang up. Hang it back up. Yeah. Did anybody sanitize it? Did they no, bleach it? Did no. They? no. And no. we lived. And we were probably healthier then than we are now. Probably so. <clears throat> and yeah. speaking of healthy, I got to get better, y'all. I just, I, I, this has been a struggle. Mm. It's, been a, it's been a struggle. I'm doing high powered. Benny bought me, um, is it called something Z, something C? He bought me some high powered um, vitamin C. I've been taking that. I've been taking everything, and I just can't quite get over the edge. I so. love fresh pineapple. It's good for you. Good been for eating you. a lot of fresh pineapple. That's why you're not sick now. Where's got, the pineapple? Look what I got <laughs> to prove it. Yeah. Can you give those announcements for Mr. Bob Reese, my dear I friend? I sure can. Can you do that? I sure can. At Hickory Flat Fellowship Hall, 
on September the 10th tomorrow. at 4 p.m. Yeah, that's tomorrow. You're going to hear the Glory Bound Gospel Group. And uh, they got a group with them here, too, I see. Mm -hmm. The Old Paths. That's going to be a bunch of good gospel singing right there, folks. And it's for a good cause, am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for yeah. a good cause. Yeah. Again, that's it. 5301 Hickory Flat Highway. Canton, and it's Georgia. Canton, Georgia. And yep. you're gonna, you're gonna, it's at the, at the Hickory Flat Fellowship Hall. Uh -huh. Tomorrow at 4 p.m. Uh -huh. And you're going to get to see Glory Bound and The Old Paths. Good gospel music. Do I need to do the others too? Yes, sir, if you don't okay. mind, because it's right. not far to them. Right. Yeah, and they're on the screen there. Yep. That one we just did is for tomorrow, remember that. Mm -hmm. tomorrow. Now coming up on October the 8th, you got, uh, uh, it's Glory Bound again. Yes, it's a bike and classic car ride for charity. Great people. Candy look what, needs to be yeah, there. Yeah, look what they do for us. Yeah, me and Candy may show up for mm -hmm. this. Who knows? Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's uh, benefits White Christmas, and this gives this gives underprivileged children yep, in uh, Cherokee County. some, some mm -hmm. Christmas stuff. Yep. Santa Claus visits them too. Yep. All right. Now again, that is October the eighth. That's the day my daddy went into the army for Viet. Oh, I mean, wow. for World War Two, nineteen forty-three. Wow. And uh, yep, there's that. And then another thing is another white Christmas concert. This is raising money for underprivileged children to have Christmas. And who's not going to be for that? This is on November the 13th. It's at 4 p.m. also. Where's this one at? It's at Canton First Baptist. Oh, it's at Canton First Huge, Baptist. Huge, beautiful yeah. church. Yeah, yeah, big, nice place. Go there on four, at 4 p.m. on November the 13th at the Canton First Baptist Church. And uh, and you get to hear, is it, is it Glory Bound again? No, no, it's I'm the, sorry. Glory Bound and the Isaacs. Oh yeah, oh, the Isaacs, the yeah. I, number yeah. one featured group. This yes. is the Isaacs. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yep, 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 Glory yep. Bound and the Isaacs. Yep. that'll be a good <laughs> show. Not one you want to miss on November the 13th. Write it down. Put it in your book. November yep, the 13th. Yep. I at will be 4 there. PM. That's one I always try to go to. Is there going to be food or anything? Try to help. No, they no just food. are raising okay. money just for raising the kids. Money. <coughs> for the Christmas and last year they had over 700 needy children. Oh so man. Well, if I year. don't go to any of these, I'll send money. Thank you. Thank you and Bob will appreciate that. Okay, guys, we're going to go to some music by you. You finally got to hear what Tim put together. Are you pleased with I'm it? I'm tickled to death. Watched it last night. Good job, Tim. Yeah, good job. Is Tim still here? And it is me taking yeah, okay, an yeah. iPad. Yeah, yeah, it's me taking an iPad and just recording you in different areas, different settings, different yes. places. From the early days when we first met to now that, you know, it's just we do we one here, one here, one here, different locations. And yep. I think the next place we're going to record you singing is sitting at the top lot with the background of the mountains. Mm -hmm. That'll be beautiful. Yeah, I want to do some some real serious stuff right here though. Yes, Re that was redo beautiful. the set. That yeah. that was very nice. Yeah, yeah. When I couldn't do anything that morning, I didn't have time. I had to go. Yeah. But we did do some sampling. Yes. Yeah. And he practiced a dog named Boo, and I. I love had to it. meet with a record executive. Yeah. Yeah. And he uh, he really killed me because he did enough of the song to make me have it in my mind. And you know how you get a song in your mind and it goes, you're like, shut up, I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> um, you had said the other day, oh, I can't remember the words. And I looked at you like you'd bumped your head. Uh -huh. Because the words don't affect me like all the chords and all the, I watch you play. And some things are, they seem very simple, and other things are very detailed. Strumming my fate with his fingers. You do it. Telling do my it. life with his song. You do it. You do it. Well, <laughs> right now, we're going to share what Tim did for YouTube, and it is called um, Just Getting to Know Mr. LJ. Can we say now that the shirts are en route, and we should have them by Monday? The shirts are by in the Monday. mail. So All you winners, you're going to have your shirt real and soon. And then we're going to be um, selling them, and you're going to be able to have one, and you, they're going to make great Christmas gifts. And here it goes again. You want to talk now? Because I can't, because I'm fixing to sneeze. Oh, well, you want, you want to introduce yourself? My name is Dwight <laughs> Sanford. <laughs> 
Some call me Mr. Ella J. That's what happens when you write a pretty cool song about your little hometown. I'm very proud of my hometown and the song, and thank you folks for listening. There was something like 200,000 of you. <laughs> Who listened? How cool is that? How cool is that? Yes, and uh, you know, it's, it's a good little song. I'm proud of it. So here we go, and to find it on YouTube, just type in C-H-E-R-I-E -E Martin, and it is the first thing that pops up right now, I think. So, so, uh, and you can just play the whole thing. It's about nine songs, 31 minutes. You're going to do the whole thing? No, no. No, here surely not. No, because, no, no, yeah, we only minute. have, yeah. Here we okay. go. I rule, I'll say happy birthday, darling. And surprise you with a gift when I... <laughs> They're cracking me up a while. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tomorrow. To sorry. Okay. Tomorrow. I'll say happy birthday, darling. And surprise you with a gift when I. We are back. We came back because we have a very important, this is in the weekend of 9-11, and you brought me a wonderful quilt to use on the set today that your precious mama made. Yes. Can I tell a story? Yes. We were in Walmart in Dalton in 1999. We were walking around just looking at stuff, spending time with mom. And we went to the fabrics uh, department. And we were just walking through, and she was looking at, you know how women, they like, they just looking at all these different fabrics and designs and everything. And I was just going through, too, and I saw this fabric right here. And I said, boy, I like that. Well, 
that following Christmas, 1999, she presented me with this. She sat there and sewed this quilt and made it for me. Wow, wow. And kept it secret, too. <laughs> I'd go to her house that. all the time, but I didn't see no quilt. She kept it, kept it out of sight. Sweet. So on Christmas, 1999, she gave me this quilt. Sweet. And in honor and in memory of all the fallen of 9-11, um, we need to, this weekend, do something nice for somebody else. Do something positive for somebody else. Do yeah. something that will bless somebody else. Because there are so many families today that are still hurting because people are still dying from the after effects of 9-11, y'all. When we think about how many years ago that was, it, it is not going to... It's not going to go away, and uh, we need to keep honoring those people who went into those buildings not knowing that they were yes. risking their life for all the things they breathed in. And, Police and officers, uh, firefighters, firefighters. EMTs. Yes, Lord. Yep. Yep. Thank you so much. Now, you want to say anything about this iron skillet? Got one. Nineteen seventy-eight. Was that your old restaurant? Nineteen seventy-eight. Oh, be darn. Nineteen seventy-eight. When I got this out, I thought. I hear that you did some amazing things with iron skillets back in those days. I like to cook. Is that right? Yeah, I like yeah, to cook, and I collected, I so. and I had them from this teeny <clears throat> to this big, from the one from the Woodbridge Inn that Hans Rufert gifted me with, which was like my greatest gift ever, because I cooked in it. Over 52 years ago, I cooked in it at the Woodbridge Inn and through four different owners. And so when I opened my own restaurant, and I'll tell you what will make you, this is what makes you become self-employed. I worked over in Forsyth County. God, can I say this on the air? You usually do. For a mean person. He was <coughs> Was evil. he mean? He was mean. He was evil. And he would sit at his desk, y'all. Now, we got people backed up out the wazoo and he would sit at his desk about 10 feet from my cooking station doing this with his ink pen. And one Sunday afternoon on Easter Sunday in particular, I cooked about 5,420 pieces of fried chicken and I, I walked by and I said, could you get up and come here and help us? And he said, that's not my job and tapped his pen. Well, I opened my own restaurant. So I have that <laughs> man that I worked for. And I let me tell you how much my salary was. And I cooked and I worked. And I, I was so skinny. Now, it is good for weight control. I was so <laughs> skinny, I had to hold my clothes on with diaper pins because literally I was a bag of bones. That kitchen was 199 degrees. It was hot. It was horrible. His motto was, I will pay for what you eat, but I will not pay you to eat it. So we had to clock out to eat. If we went to work at 5.30 in the morning, we didn't get to eat till 2.30. What a Try mean thing. Try to do that, y'all. Try to do that. That's why Sherry's Iron Skillet was born. Because I said, I was 28 years old. I said, I will never work for anybody else again. I have been self-employed ever since then. I'm self-employed in all my jobs. I make the decisions. I do the things I do. I do the crazy stuff I do. But if you're a boss today, thank your employees and don't say, it's not my job. I'll never forget that, yeah. never. But it made me me. So even the crappy things in life yeah, you can make use you a better too. person. Something about yeah. you get handed yeah. lemons, what is it? You make lemonade. Yes. You make lemonade, <laughs> and I can remember it like it was yesterday. I mean, I never forgot it. We are going to leave y'all today with a little bit of music from the Inspirations. Have you ever been to an Inspirations concert? I think I have. I think I saw them in Cleveland, Tennessee one night. There you go. There you but go. But I didn't, well, <laughs> yeah, I saw them in Cleveland, Tennessee one night. <laughs> He's going to leave it at that. Yeah. There's a story behind it. We'll hear it later. <laughs> Y'all, I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. I hope that you remember the Hensley family. Danny Hensley was such a strong force here at ETC. We are so thankful. He was our studio producer, manager, our boss, our um, who you picked up the phone and called when you couldn't get something done, who you picked up the phone and called when you needed advice, who you picked up the phone and called when you had an idea. And um, to Dawn and the, and the family, please say a prayer for all of them. It's, it's going to be hard. I was a young widow, and I remember, I remember sitting at that casket. And uh, I know because um, the love of his life will be grieving him, and we need to be there for her. Please pick up the phone and call her, send her a card, do something to uh, to encourage her to uh, to make you the know most what? of these days. Dawn also rode my bus. Oh, did she? Yes, really? she did. Yeah. Actually, cool. folks, everybody rode my bus. <laughs>
goodness. And your, your daddy and yeah. your grandfather, yes. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, we're going to leave you now. You got, a, you got a word you want to say to folks before we go off there? We're going to listen to this music. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank ETC for having us. And thanks for your kind comments. Thank yes, you so thank much, you for your kind comments. Thank you. And now, text. I'm going to go get a lard bucket and I'm going to make me some flat South Georgia biscuits. How about that? Heck yeah. All right, guys, we'll see you again next week. Please remember um, the Hensley family, and we're going to go down with the inspirations doing Jesus is coming soon. Chastening rot, seek the way pilgrims trot. Now Christians away. Jesus is coming soon, morning or night or noon. Many will, many will be there to trumpet, trumpet, starly sound. Dead shall rise, right sweet in the sky. Going when, oh. going when on night, heaven, heaven, heaven pound. Our troubles will soon be o'er. Happy for. Resurrection ground. This is not the end. It's resurrection.